Everybody, it's your boy Gerald Jones from thegospeltruth.com, and I am sitting here with one of the biggest gospel stars in the industry today, Mr. JJ Harrison. How's it going, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good, good. good. So you're out here in LA. I know you're doing a lot of big things. You've been doing a lot of traveling. So I hear you're about to go do international. Tell me about that. You yeah, actually going to South Africa next month. Uh, we're going to be out there for a week with Mr. Kyle Walker. He does a big conference there every year, so he's actually bringing me out this year to work with the choir and bring a couple of YP, you know, sing a few songs. So I'm really excited about having our first African experience. It's going to be great. Okay, so did you know that has your music really gone international yet? Do you know? Have you have you hit some markets like that? Or oh, will this be the first? Actually, we, we actually went to London last year. We went to London, Antigua. Um, this will be our first time, of course, in Africa. But um, we get YouTube clips all the time. I even got one clip of the choir singing in Japan on okay. our song. And New Zealand, as a matter of fact, was singing Incredible God. So, you know, our, our, our music has reached out. It's, it's gone farther than we have. So now we're able to go with it. Oh, that's so, good. That's good. Yeah. So, while we're on the album, and traveling, I hear there are two singles that are on the Billboard charts right yeah. now. Tell me about that. Yeah, of course, Resting on His Promise and Peak is number three on the um, Billboard charts. I'm excited about that. Now, our new single, Lord Your Mighty, which was supposed to actually be released this week, actually was number 25 on the Billboard chart the day of its release. So, you know, stuff we didn't even expect to happen. We're excited about it. We're glad people are appreciating our music. And we're trying to keep it going. And the album's been out for almost over a year and it's still like picking up momentum, still doing well on the charts. What do you think it is about the slow momentum and, and the game? Do you think people are just kind of finding out about it or the music is just really starting to spread? Like, what do you think it is? Well, I think that um, when it first came out, of course, you get that big bubble, you know, right. people going out and getting it for the first time. And then when radio, radio didn't really pick up for the album until like a month after it came out. So by the time like maybe April came in, it was really starting to, you know, show up. So I think that's why we're getting this momentum now, a year out after the project came out. So people are thinking it just came out. It's been out a year. Right, okay. Yeah. So how do you deal, and I've noticed too, you've been traveling a lot more lately. How do you deal with the with the hectic travel schedule? Like every weekend, it seems like yeah. you're probably almost gone. How do yeah. you deal with that? Well, I mean, it's what we love to do. It's, you know, what we call to do. So we're excited, you know, we... Of course, it gets tiring. I try to bring my wife with me wherever I go to just kind of keep the balance there. So as, as a matter of fact, my wife and my, my baby right now at the hotel are waiting for me just, just to keep some normalcy out on the road. Otherwise, you'll just feel like you're never home and you never have a family with you. So that's how I kind of balance it out by having a family with me. And you kind of glossed over it, but I know you said your wife is back at the hotel and the baby. Tell us about, it's a new little baby girl that's yeah. entered into the world. Tell us about yeah. that. I have a brand new baby. Her name is JL. She's three months old. Um, just our promise child. You know, we, we said we wanted to have one more child. And she's here and it's the joy of my life. It kind of helps me. Gave me some new rejuvenation because I'm getting a little, I'm not as young as I used to be. But she <laughs> Come on now, good. you know you're still 25. Yeah, of course I am. That's, that's the... Once I get there, I stay there. All right. But right. Um, she's helping me feel much younger. And, you know, keep, keeping me a new niece on life. You know, of course, a baby always kind of brings a little more um, that protection out of you and that desire to do well for your family. And that's what she's doing for me. I just got to make sure my family has everything they need and want. And God's given me the ability to do that through the ministry. Okay. Okay. That sounds very, very good. Now, how do you... How do you determine who, who travels with you and like who's gonna go to South Africa and who's gonna go who goes on, on what what trips and what tours? Well God bless me, man. I got a, a bunch of great singers, um, that people who can really sing and they minister, you know. I'm not the type of person that feels like I have to go on the road and sing every song. And, right. So what I try to do is make sure I at least bring the singers who sing the singles. Um, so resting, Lord your mind, of course incredible God, people still wanna hear that. Right. So um, those are the singers that always go first, and outside of that, we, I, I travel with about nine singers, and those nine singers, I could pass the mic to any of them, and they could really carry the service. Right yeah, right. so um, we kind of choose with those songs first, and then after that, we build and help do whatever's going to be great for the concert. Okay. Now, I also heard that you're a part of another big contest that's been building each year, and each year, I mean... I think this is probably going to be the biggest year yet. Uh, the Verizon How Sweet the Sound Contest. How did you get involved with that? Well, that was a great honor. You know, we actually were talking to Donna Lawrence, who's one of our mentors last year, saying, you know, if there's anything that happens, you know, we want, we want to be involved, we want to be a part of whatever you're doing. So then this year we got a call from Verizon, um, the company who handles it called Travel Brands. 
and they said, you know, if you, if you guys want to be involved, we'd love to have you be one of the judges. So they did that. They reached out to us, and on the call, you know, I was I didn't know who was going to be a part of it, and then we were on the conference call, and it was Mark Meneezy, Ricky Diller, myself. Um, just many, uh, Troy Snead, many great artists. Mm -hmm. So I was excited to be a part of it. And um, we're actually going down to the competition in a couple of months. Um, so it's, it was just a great experience for me. And I want to be able to stay involved as much as I can. Now, are you going to actually be a judge? Or you got, or are you afraid you're going to be performing? Or? Well, I'm just supposed to make an appearance. Outside of that, I don't know. That's up to, you know, management and all the people okay. to work out. But right now, I, I know they sent me the tickets to be there. So we'll see what I'm doing once I get there. But I think that just says a lot about your presence and, and your name in the industry, the album doing well, the fact that a contest that that, that big and, and has been building the momentum that it has, that they actually you know came to you and said, we want you to be a part of that. I think that's... Yeah, it, it was big for me, especially because it's a choir competition. And you know, um, it seems like there was a time when choirs were kind of fading out. You know, of course, we don't travel with as much as we used to, but we still do have a choir. Youth Parade has about 30 people. Um, so the fact that they wanted to be a part of a choir competition was very exciting and honor. Yeah. So what do you feel about that? Do you feel like choir music is dying off? Do you feel like it's making a resurgence? Do you feel like it's slowly coming back? Like, what's your take on, on that? Well, I think that choir music has been infused to everything else that's going on. People used to say, you know, there's choir work, there's praise and worship, then there's choir, then there's this. But I think now choirs do praise and worship. There are choirs who sing traditional music. So there's not anymore just a choir category. There is music and choirs sing all, all forms of music. So I think because of that we've made a resurgence, you know, because the, um, every church, most churches have a choir and they have to have material. So there are people like us who always stay busy because choirs have to have something to sing. Right, right. Now let me ask you this. I know it's kind of premature to, to talk about this, but, but another album. And not necessarily another album, but when you're pushing, when you're steady pushing an album like this, and you have songs in your head or songs that pop in your head and stuff, do you content, do you kind of get them out? Do you write them? Do you just push them to the side and like I can't concentrate on that because I'm still focused on, you know, the album at hand that's out now? Like how do you deal with, with, you know, other songs and things like that that you may hear in your head or want to get out? I'll be honest with you, it's, it's funny, I, the, all the songs for this record that I wrote, I wrote two weeks before it was time to start rehearsing. So it was literally nine, two weeks Literally before. two weeks, so it was nine songs in two weeks I wrote. Um, and they just started coming, so I don't, I'm not the type of writer who says, okay, I got, I mean, of course, when there's, there's things gonna happen, you know, I, I work in a worship experience, I'll hear something and I'll start putting something down. But for the most part, I get most of my songs when it's time to get everything set. So um, two weeks before it was time to start rehearsal, I wrote them. Got together with my MD, you know, we put everything together, and then we started teaching the band, and then we started with the choir. So it's that I don't have a set process like you know, all of a sudden I'm up three o'clock in the morning writing. Right, right. That's not me. I just get them when I need them. Okay. Yeah. Well, look, everybody, this is your boy Gerald Jones from the Gospel Truth. I have been here with JJ Harrison. Make sure you go out and pick up the new album. It's in stores, online, everywhere. Youthful praise and JJ Harrison. Resting on this promise. I kind of like it. I like, I like the tie. Thank I like you. the tie. Thank you, dude. I tried to do what I could. I like it. <laughs> so we out, everybody. Peace.